Neil, uh, an away performance tonight that contained a bit of everything. You were, you were durable, you were resilient, uh, some real quality going forward yeah. and in the end uh, a justifiable victory. Yeah, it's, I think it's been coming. Um, you can see obviously all the hard work that the boys have put into um, the last six, seven games and tonight thankfully it all came together and they probably could have been a lot more goals but we'll take a 1-0 and like I say we can now move forward and keep looking up the table. First half uh, tonight, at times, some of the movement, uh, the interchange uh, in the forward line uh, was something that I personally haven't seen in a Bolton Wanderers side for a long time. Uh, it must be really enjoyable to play in that. Yeah, it's, it's like I say, it's, it's unbelievable to play. And when you've got the likes of Chungi and uh, Fiends and Pauly, they, they all want to get on the ball. So it makes the job easier to find a pass. And like you say, you've seen it tonight. Everyone's moving, these options everywhere. And like I say, that's that's contributed to, to the goal in the end. You've seen a bit of interchange. Then Chungi's played a magnificent ball through and Prattley's finished it off brilliantly. Seven games unbeaten, uh, the confidence in the team must be quite high right now. Definitely, it's there for everyone to see. The boys are just buzzing at the moment. Every game we feel like we can win at the moment. And like I say, if we can just keep this confidence over the Christmas period, then you never know where it can take us. And like I say, we're looking at the next game now. We're not looking too far ahead of ourselves because we don't want to get complacent. So we'll just be concentrating on the next game and hopefully getting the three points. Talked about uh, you know the, the fluid fluidity going forward, there's clearly a confidence there, there's real movement about the team, but of course any attacking side is only as good as it, the foundations it's laid upon and, and defensively right now, probably as strong as you've been in, in a good 12 months. 100%, I think testament to defenders, they're all commanding everyone, uh, you've got Big Matt Mills, he's, he's been being a leader, he's, he's telling everyone where to go, Dorian putting his head through things and like you say, when you've got foundations like that, it makes it so much easier to concentrate on the forward play because you know that was solid at the back end, four clean sheets on the bounce, when you've got that sort of confidence in your defence then you can concentrate on just getting forward and that seems to be what we're doing. Justifiably obviously people look at uh, the defence and the goalkeeper who's in outstanding form right now <coughs> but uh, in, in no small measure obviously the job that yourself and Darren are doing in front of the back four at the moment working tirelessly, hustling, harrying really sets the tone for the performances. Yeah definitely, um, I think the gaffers instilled that into the whole team not just me and Pratt, you, you can see the work right from everyone, everyone's running for for each other, everyone's grafting to say, and like I say, it's 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 just infectious. So I think the gaffers like that as a, as a personality, and that's obviously shown, gone through to us on the pitch. And if we can keep temp the tempo up and keep pressing people <coughs> with the enthusiasm that we have been doing, then it's going to be hard for any team to play against us. And obviously uh, Neil Lennon was uh, was a tigerish central midfielder himself. Uh, everybody knows that was his game. Uh, from your personal point of view, what, what things have you picked up from him? Just his, his old attitude towards winning. He's a winner. And when you've got a manager who's so much of a winner, it just rubs off on you. You don't you don't want to let him down, so you, you literally have to give everything. And like I, I come off the pitch today and I, like, I'm nearly being sick in, in, in there, but... Like I said, I don't mind because when you come away with the three points, that's the main thing. And when I get on that coach now, um, I'll have a, a nice little nap and, like I say, I can nap peacefully. Yeah, it's great to see uh, at the end of the game there, uh, Jay, he's not, not obviously involved, but there's a real togetherness about the uh, the camp at the moment, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. Like I say, all the boys that, not just the boys that are that are playing in the 11 but the boys that haven't been starting or coming on everyone's contributing like I say we're all training when we train we all push each other and it's it's vitally important to have a, um, a together a together squad and that's what we've got everyone's willing each other on like I say one game Jay might come in and I might be out but I'll still for the, for the good of the team I, we all want each other to do well and me, like I say, me and Jay get home really well, well, and he's a fantastic skipper. Like he's positive all around the changing room, keeps everyone upbeat, always giving advice, and that's a testament to Jay as a person. Do you know what I mean? So I think. 
the, the, the bonding the bonding of the team and in the squad at the moment is fantastic. And the performance tonight, uh, just one final one, certainly delighted delighted the away fans, didn't it? The fans have been brilliant, like I say, every every, every away game this season, they're there in the numbers, they're cheering us on. Even when we were having our bad time at the beginning of the season, they were still there cheering us on and I'm just glad now that they're getting what they deserve and in a team that's playing good football and, and not getting beat, basically. So, like I say, testament to them and a big thank you to the fans for sticking with us and giving us the support.